Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbust, and you are joining me today for a bra haul video. Okay, so before I get into this video, I wanted to really quickly say that the last video I did on this subject got a lot of attention from a lot of people for a bunch of different reasons. But one thing that kept coming up was that it was inappropriately sexual. And I have a really hard time with this because there's nothing that I can do that isn't perceived as sexual. Like, existing for me is perceived as sexual, but the information that I am attempting to share here is something that I view as being valuable information. And I would like this to be accessible to all ages of people. Like, not, not super young people, I, I'm not talking like prepubescent, but the issue with making things 18 plus is that people going through puberty cannot view content. And I think that's shitty because when I was 14 years old, and I started growing my breasts, I couldn't find anything that fit me anywhere. I didn't have any idea how to shop. I had no idea how to take any, like it just the information wasn't out there and I would have loved to have it. So it's upsetting to me to hear that people want these videos censored for that reason. Uh, I'm not attempting to be sexual at all and I'm sorry if this sort of content offends you. I highly recommend that if you think seeing a woman in a bra is offensive that you not watch this video, but do know that I am not being intentionally sexual and I apologize if it is seen that way. So today I have four super cute oh, bras to show you all from Ewa Michela and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong because it is a Polish brand and I do not speak Polish, <laughs> so I know that that's wrong, but it's E-W-A-M-I-C-H-A-L-A-K and I'll go ahead and put their name somewhere on the screen and there's a link down to their store in the description box because these guys are the fucking bomb. Anyway, so Ewa Michelak sent me four bras to show you all today and I am ridiculously excited to be doing this. I get people requesting this question more than any other question on every form of uh, social media that I have is like where do I buy my bras and the best answer for that is these guys right here yeah these guys are the best answer for that they have the cutest selection in the best shapes for me now they sent me three like soft bras and one semi padded bra and when I say like semi padded like it'll say padded on their website, but it's not actually padded. It's an incredibly thin layer of batting throughout the entire bra. And all this does is helps maintain the shape of the bra. It doesn't actually really add anything to the bust, especially when you are looking at sizes like this. Like it's so fractional that it doesn't really add anything. But these ones here don't add anything at all. They're just a layer of fabric. One of the biggest reasons that I love Ewa Michelak is because of the range they have of these padded bras on their website available in very large sizes. These guys right here are the best when it comes to wearing knit fabrics like wearing t-shirts or tank tops or that sort of stuff which is basically my bread and butter in terms of clothing. I love these sorts of bras and they do so much when it comes to support and shaping when you want to be wearing like blouses or more traditional like clothing but just these guys right here they're like the t-shirt bra it's the thing that you wear that just looks good in a casual way and that's what I like wearing personally. Alright so now I'm going to show you guys these bras individually. So this is the first one. It's super cute it's got these cute piping slash ribbing style shapes up to a balconette sort of top. The fabric is kind of, uh, it's more like a, um, geez, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, it's a spandex rather than like a lace or lycra or whatever bras are normally made out of, whatever, it's a spandex. It's nice, I like that. It kind of almost feels like a swimsuit. This bra has two little black straps that come with it that you can hook to the middle right here and it adds like a cute little strap just to the bra because it's cute for no reason other than because it's cute. 
As you can see, the strap next to the cup here is incredibly wide, so it actually covers a fairly large percentage of your underarm area. And it has this freaking adorable little frilly thing to tie over the clip, which is just so cute! Ah! Next up is another soft bra. This one is black and it's similar to the last one, but the bottom is more of this incredibly firm, like it has zero stretch, uh, silky, satiny sort of fabric. Then at the top, it's like a stretchy lace, which is lovely. And on the inside, it has a little bow with like diamantes, and this one also has straps, but these ones are built in. You can't remove these ones like the other one you can. The same level of thickness for the strap that goes around the back. Now this one is my favorite of the soft bras. It makes me feel like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. It's so freaking cute. I think that my camera, uh, no, my light might actually be blowing out the lace detail over the bust, but it's really cute. And then it has like a stretch fabric behind it just to kind of give it extra support. So it's supportive as well as being super cute. And it also has a very thick band, but it's got this super cute polka dot fabric that goes to the plain blue. And then it's got a little bow at the top and then at the back of where the bands attach, which I think is really cute. And the bands are super thick with lace on them, which is just so cute. It's really, really precious. I love this. And finally, the padded bra. <laughs> My personal favorite of the four items sent. This one has a, just a super cute cut and it makes me think of like, it almost makes me think of like a, a picket fence or a balcony or something. Like I know it's supposed to look like a balconette, but it's just, it's really cute. It also has really thick bands and this one also has the super cute lace detail that goes over the bra clasps. It's just, mmm, it's so freaking cute. And it has these cute little buttons in the middle, and then of course it also has the button of the hooks to go with the straps. The bras on Eeyore Michelin range in price from around 40 US dollars to 65 US dollars. Um, now it is in Polish Zloty is what their pricing is at, which is why it can look kind of intimidating straight away because it'll say things like 199 ZL, but the Polish Zloty is worth like, what? Google says it's worth 25 cents for every US dollar. So the prices end up being quarter of what they're advertised as being, which makes them incredibly affordable, especially for people who have large boobs, like you know how much large bras can sell for. Shops will like gouge you for $200 for bras sometimes. So when you see something selling for as little as 40 bucks in huge sizes, but it's cute, that's pretty exceptional. But yeah, um, I've been wearing these guys' bras for a really long time. I originally uh, found them a long time ago before I had an internet following and I started buying their bras just because I really liked them. And as I got more and more popular, I reached out to them and then they offered to send me bras for free. So it wasn't like they reached out to me and I discovered them through that way. It was entirely because I had already established a connection with them and that I liked their line so much. I've personally never had any negative experiences with them, but I know that a few people have had problems with their shipping. Like, um, I've, I've had friends say that it, take a, it takes a really long time for their stuff to arrive. And it's coming from Poland, and I think it's all largely handmade. And I think some of it is handmade to order. So I think there's a little bit of it just seeming like a much larger company than it is, but I'm not entirely sure. This is just, this is what I've kind of gathered from my readings, but I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm a really big fan of their stuff and I've been buying it for years and I've never personally had a problem. Those are like the Torrid bralettes that I showed you guys last video that I did like this and Eeyore Michelak are my 
personal go-to brands for different kinds of things. Um, now, I do have a sports bra recommendation as well, which I could talk about in a different video. But honestly, I'd want to have more than one recommendation. Otherwise, it feels like a weird video to make. Uh, but if you have any other requests for this, for similar content to this, uh, put it down in the comment section. Like, if there's a certain article of clothing that you've seen me wear that you'd like to know where I get it or what logic I put into buying it, like, you'd be surprised at how much fucking thought goes into getting clothing when you're plus-sized but you're looking for certain things like mini shorts or tight dresses and stuff like that. Like it can be hard and I feel like some of this information I take for granted and might be quite valuable to other people but I don't realize it. So yeah, request it down in the comment section. <laughs> um, I guess that's everything. Oh, oh, there's already so much rambling that you can do in a video, right? Um, yeah. From the bottom of my little black heart, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye! Functionings, no, Penny, Jesus, did you forget English? Did you forget English between when you started talking and now? Did you just, did you forget how it worked? Okay, let's do that again, all right? Thank you. But I know some other people can complain that thought is barking in the background whilst I am trying to film.